In this video, I will show how to do the reliability test in SPSS. We use Combrat Alpha to measure the internal consistency reliability of an instrument. Some professionals require a reliability of 0.7 or higher for their pilot study before they will use that instrument for their research. And the KR20, we will use this test when we the the uh, instrument data is dichotomous that we have zero and one on it. Then we will use KR20 and KR20 is same with the Combra Alpha. So in the SPSS, when you want to do the KR20 test, you can always select the Combra Alpha test. A high KR20 coefficient, let's say greater than 0 0.9, indicates a homogeneous test. Let's look at the data that I have obtained. Let's say in my instrument there is 30 questions and then I use this instrument to do a pilot study and I distribute it to 25 respondents. And this is the data that I obtained. So from here, I want to test whether this instrument is reliable or not. So I want to do the reliability test. So I press analyze, scale, and reliability test analysis. And you have to select all the variable in your questionnaire so by double click it you can select the variable So I have 30 variable, so it may take some time to select all the variable. So after you select all the variable, you press statistic and you choose the descriptive for skill if item deleted. And then you press continue and the model is alpha that is the alpha combra alpha and you press ok and from here you can see that your reliability statistic the combra alpha is 0 0.923 then you look at your and this uh, indicate that your instrument is uh, it is greater than 0 0.7 so uh, we don't have any problem to use this uh, instrument to to do continue with your research what happened if your value here is less than 0 0.7 then you look at every item and they are combat alpha if the item deleted so in here you will find that um, if you choose question number two that means you delete question number two from your instrument then your combat alpha will increase to 0 0.926 it's up to you whether you want to delete it or not in this case because our convert alpha is already 0 0.923 which is greater than 0 0.7 it's good enough already so um, from 0 0.923 increase to 0 0.926 there is no not much different but if there is a case that your convert alpha is 0 0.7 and below 
below than 0 0.77, let's say 0 0.5, and after delete uh, item, it will increase to 0 0.8, then you have to delete the item from your instrument. So, here, in this video, I have show how to do the reliability test in SPSS. Thank you.